Today, we are going to be building a flying wing. Now, this is going to be based on a World War II flying wing, so it's going to look a little bit strange. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with building it then. Today, we are going to be building something based on the Horton HO229, and uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I am not the best at actually building flying wings in terms of getting the shapes right, but let's go ahead and figure it out and see if it ends up looking good. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so the way that I'm actually going to start this is by grabbing one of these guys, and we're going to go ahead and shove it on here like so. This isn't going to be just like this, though, because we're going to make it very, 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 very small. Uh, just like that. There we go. From there, what we're going to do is spin it uh, on the axis. Here we go. Very good. And that's going to go to there. Oh, wait. Actually, wait, 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 wait. We need to do that with the entire thing. So this is going to be spun around... Uh, just like that, 90 degrees, and it all needs to be moved so that it's central on the pilot. Uh, whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, I don't know whether this is the right way of doing it. In fact, I'm almost certain it's not the right way of doing it, but let's try. So, let's send this over to where the pilot is. Go ahead and send this over to where the pilot is. There we go. Uh, and the easiest way to get this central? I don't actually know, but, um, we're gonna go ahead and make it very tiny. There we go. And that's not quite centered, to be honest. That is not quite it, but that looks like it is. Okay, so this is a very strange way of going about it, but I think it might be uh, maybe the easiest way of going about it. I'm not sure. Anyway, what we're going to do is modify this fuselage, fuselage uh, on the y-axis, I guess. So if we do this, uh, they, it, they both come forwards. Okay, excellent. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll build the entire thing like this. So, this goes forwards, there we go. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and send this guy forwards as well, because it's, it is rounded. There you go. We're gonna send this guy forwards too, again, even more rounded, fantastic. We're then gonna send this guy, there we go. And then from there, we're actually gonna start bringing these guys downwards. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. We're then gonna send it down, just like so. There we go. And then these guys, um, sort of just need to go backwards like this as well. Kind of, anyway. So this guy's gonna go all the way backwards like this, these guys are gonna come down, this guy's gonna go slightly upwards like so, and we'll attach them together at the top, where hopefully it ends up looking okay, but I, at the minute this looks strange. But, what if I do this? So, if we make the X, uh, two. Aha! Aha! Okay, now we could get a nice shape out of this. We could totally get a nice shape out of this. So send that down. There we go. Send this up. Send this up. Send this up. Essentially, I need to make it less aggressive on the way down. So we can do that. We can totally do that. There we go. Okay. Send this further backwards. It's kind of skinny, though. Just keep sending them all backwards just a little bit. Don't want any weird bumps or anything. Uh, and that looks like a nice shape. So let's say we copy this. We move it to this side and we paste it and we apply it. And then we do two right there. Bam! We have ourselves a lovely shape for a, uh, a flying wing, I think. Alright, so we're going to extrude this to the sides. There we go. Fantastic. Very nice. It is only happening on one side, but that's okay. If we make this, Nord's point, uh, one. Actually, if we just make it one. Sure. Okay. And then the Y value, 0 0.5. Bam! There we go. Excellent. So far, very weird. Actually, make this more. 1.5. There we go, so it's bigger. Excellent, and we can move this out to about here. That is weird, but I think I've done the right thing here, maybe. In fact, if we undo this, let's go ahead and delete it real quick. We need to make sure we extrude it and we know how far we move it. So let's say we move it to... There we go, we've moved it to... We're going to go ahead and set this to 1.5, like we did last time. And this to 0.5, again, like we did last time. And then we need to do the same thing on the other side. So, we extrude it. Yes. We send it out by 2. Uh, sure, there we go. Out by 2. Wait, um, if I mirrored it that way, would this actually work? I'm not sure it would. Anyway, this is going to be 1.5. There we go. And this is going to be 0.5. And hopefully that works. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Bit of a weird shape, but I think it's going to work. Maybe. 
Okay, so now that we've done that, what I want to do is actually uh, bring this guy downwards at the back just a little bit more. Essentially, the engines are actually going to go here, so I need to sort that out. Or... Or what I could do is add a loop. Now, adding a loop makes things a little bit more difficult here. So instead of doing that, let's not add a loop. Uh, and then we can modify them both together. So let's say we send this one in uh, about 0.5. There we go. Um, that's actually fine. Yes. Uh, from there, we're going to extend it again. But this one needs to go in 0.5 as well. There's a lot that actually needs to go through my brain on this one. If I do this, what happens? Let me try. So, actually, wait, 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 let me save this as HO229-ish. HO229-ish. Save. Nice. Okay, I do have an idea as to how to make this work a bit easier. If I delete this segment on this side, okay, we then quit. We then grab this guy, we go ahead and we copy it, and we try and attach it onto this side. Is that gonna work? I don't know. Actually, wait. No, do this. Yes. All right, attach that onto there like that. Go ahead and get rid of this guy. I'm actually only going to... Do oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Because I need to essentially put this on this side. It is the same all the way around. So we can actually flip it if we wanted to and maybe make that work. So if we do this, 180. Okay, fantastic. We now move it back and down into the right location. Um, everything will then mirror itself, I think. Oh, I could be wrong. I guess there's a different way of doing this anyway. We could actually just put a little piece in, in the center, and that be it. But, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just... In fact, actually, can I just take the X and the Y of this? So, Y position is this. Okay. The Z position is this. Have I actually got that sort of in the right place? No way I've got that the right height already. That is insane. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. So, if we grab this and we put it there. Uh, okay. We grab a tiny little one of these. Okay, and we make it really small. So, 0.1. 0.1. Here we go. Ba 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 bam Yes. Go forwards, do the same thing. 0.1 and 0.1. I think we can get a nice little build out of this, maybe. So, if we do that all the way backwards to there. Okay, fantastic. This is going to be the piece that everything is built onto. So if we move this to this guy, bam, we then take this up, we delete it, we grab this guy, and we make it mirrored. We can then attach it onto here. Essentially, yes. We'll build it out until it fits, which is about there. And then we can move it down into location, which is here. There we go. We're going to send the pilot forwards. So he is actually sticking out the front a little bit. And that's going to be good. That is going to be so good. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so from here, what we're actually going to do is uh, build the rest of the wing. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the engines just yet, but uh, that is going to be something that's a bit of an issue. Just a little bit anyway. So scale of the X is actually going to go down to 0.2 uh, 1.2. Okay, no, it has to be less than that. Uh, 0.8. Okay, a slightly better, I guess. Actually, maybe less. Alright, not point... Ah, just one. Just one. There we go. Okay, cool. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and bring this guy backwards, because I want the wing shape at the front uh, to stay very, very similar as to what it already is. That's okay. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue extending it out backwards and sideways and everything. So that's going to go like this. The 0.6 is going to turn into a 0.3. There we go, which is a lot smaller. That's okay, though. All right, very nice. We're then going to extrude it again. Okay, we're going to send it out even more. Uh, the Y value is going to get even less, 0.2. And the 1 is going to turn into a 0.5. Ah, that's too small. 0.7. Uh, hey, there we go. That's good. Go ahead and send this guy backwards to here. Um, and then I think we have to sort of roll it round the corner as well. Currently, though, that does look pretty cool. Okay, so we're just going to round it off from the front, and we're not going to worry too much about the back. So we went down to 0.6. Let's go down to 0.4. Uh, and essentially, every time we do this, we're just going to bring it backwards so it's levelish with the back end. Uh, and just slowly drag it round. We're also going to slowly make it go smaller as well. 
because uh, otherwise it will be very thick once we get to the end, which is actually probably here. So make this 0 0.5, no, oh, 0.05. There we go. Make this 0 0.2. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and send that backwards to there-ish. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, looks interesting. Doesn't look too much like the HO229, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. There's also something really weird going on with this bit. So I might actually have to change it a bit. I think what I'm going to do is... Let's save it real quick. And what we'll do is we'll send these guys backwards like this. Just so we have a bit of a bump there. Um, have I done that with the main one? That's not what I wanted. Okay, right. Reload what we had and try again. So load aircraft. HO229-ish. <laughs> load. Okay, good. Um, yes, go to the end pieces. So we'll start with... Where does it get crazy? About here. Uh, and essentially, this piece is going to go to there like so. We're going to mirror the Y, so that bit already does it as well. Yes. And we're essentially going to copy this into the rest of them. So this piece, paste it, apply. And it gets a little bit better as we go. Yeah, that works. Okay, continue again. Paste it, apply. Good. Continue again. Paste and apply. Continue again. Paste and apply. And is that our last one? That is the last one. But then we don't have a really weird shape. So that's good. Okay. Open this. Go to this guy. Extrude it again. Make it zero. Bosh. There we go. Closed off the wing at the end. Doesn't look terrible. That looks okay. From here, we're actually going to go to this guy. And we're going to paste it in there as well. And apply it to there. That looks fantastic. What a nice shape. That looks awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Yes. Um, and so far, so good. Okay, so now it is time for the actual engines, I guess? Oh, should we go with the cockpit first? Maybe we should try and do that. I feel like we're going to have some massive issues here, but let's go ahead and try it. So, uh, first things first, we are going to go ahead and... In fact, actually, if we add a loop off to the side, let's say... Uh, how big should the cockpit be? Let's say about there. There we go, we'll have done that on both sides. We can actually make a cockpit out of this bit, and that should be fine. So, let's try it. Let's move back this direction, and we'll try and do a cockpit. So, at the front, which is actually this side, we're going to raise up from the front. Oh, is that on the underside? Oh, because this is upside down. I have messed myself up massively with this. Like, a crazy amount, but okay. Let's bring that back. So, the bottom is actually the top. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to bring this guy forwards and we're going to do that. We're going to do this guy as well. Actually quite high. And we're going to do this guy as well. It gets higher than the actual things. So that's fine. We're going to bring this guy out to here. Maybe even more. Maybe it just needs to angle a lot more. Let's do that. There we go. So that's all good. And then we need it to slowly angle itself back down towards the back. Okay, so slowly but surely we are doing that. There we go. What does that look like? Okay, it looks like it could work. So if I copy this. And we go to... Not that guy, but if we go to this guy and we paste it. Apply it, good. Uh, what we'll need to do... Is to add another loop. Just before this guy. Which I can't seem to do. But actually, maybe even just after we'll be fine. There we go. We're going to go ahead and paste it into here. Okay, not terrible. Not exactly what we wanted, but not too bad. Uh, what do we do? So, is there a bit of this that hasn't been modified? That bit. That bit. Okay, paste it and apply it. I can't seem to. Why can't I copy this? Paste this. I can't seem to paste it onto that piece, and I'm not sure why. Delete segment. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this together. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, that's fine, but not quite right. But that's okay, because now, if we go into vertexes, we can sort this out, I think. So if we go to one, I can start bringing these guys actually inwards. And we can make some sort of nice shape out of this? I don't know, guys. This is... Kind of crazy to me. I, I feel like this is like an entirely new game right now. I'm struggling a little bit. All right, let's do this all the way back to there. 
then each and every one of these guys actually needs to be brought inwards as well. Otherwise, we're going to have so many issues. There we go. Okay, and it slowly goes back together at the back. Okay, cool. Quit. Yes. Bring this slightly into each other, just a tiny touch. And then paint it. No, 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 no. We need glass. We need actual glass. And then we'll be able to see what it actually looks like. So, assign a material. Glass, glass, glass. Okay, and... That might be it. Is that it for glass? Should we just go with that? Okay. Um... Sure. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to add um, lines into this, but that's seemingly okay for now. All right, if we grab the entire thing by using this piece. No, that's n apparently not the entire thing. Oh, how do we grab all of it? Uh-oh. Is that all? I mean, that is all of it, but I can't move it using this guy. So which piece moves everything? I don't know. I guess they all move together anyway, so this is fine. Alright, send this bit backwards, there we go. Pilot is now inside the actual aircraft. I think that's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's actually scoot this over a little bit more. We'll actually bring it forwards just a tiny bit too, just so it doesn't look too crazy. Um, sure, and then maybe we can actually put some glass here too. Yeah, that looks cool. Nice, okay, quit. So, I'm gonna grab that bit of fuselage off the top of that guy's head. Come on. There we go, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, bin it. There we go, lovely. Okay, so what do we actually need now? Well, the jet inlets actually are on the front of the wing, um, and then obviously the outlets are on top of the back of the wing. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this built, um, at least properly. So let's go ahead and try and build it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so, so far we have this. Let's go ahead and make it something like 0.5 and 0.5. Here we go, yes. And, uh, yes, there we go, good. Go backwards, do the same thing. Or forwards, that's fine. 0.5, yep, and 0.5, yep. There we go, okay, cool. So, these are gonna be our engines, essentially. Let's go ahead and try and place these into a nice little location and have them work. So, let's say back there is where our engine outlets or outputs its stuff. I guess. Sure. Um, this is going to be tricky. It's going to be way trickier than expected. Uh, actually, they go quite far back, so something like this. Okay. So. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, so at the back, uh, let's go ahead and just make it round off. So extrude this. 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. There we go. Extrude it again. Make it 0 0.3 and 0 0.3. And essentially send that bit inwards. There we go. So we got like a nice shape there. That's fine. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and extend this guy forwards, but we're going to make it slightly bigger. Not 0.6. There we go. Because it looks like it gets bigger towards the back and then gets like smaller again. So we're actually going to go ahead and do this as our shape. That's good. Extrude fuselage. Bring it forwards. There we go. Go ahead and make that slightly smaller again. Okay, I mean, we're doing it. It's, it's weird, but we're doing it. Uh, and then it sort of just merges itself in with the actual wing. So, yeah. <laughs> this is tricky. This is very tricky. So let's say it goes down to there. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look quite right, but I mean, I don't know how to make it look right. So that's, that's that. That is that. Okay, cool. Can I quit this and can I move the entire thing sideways a little bit? Okay, we're gonna go to there. That's fine, okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll bring this guy forwards to a set point, which I guess is there. We're gonna extrude this. We're gonna make it 0.4, yet again. And 0.4 there. And then we're gonna extrude it again. I'm gonna send it backwards, and we'll leave it there. Okay. So, so far, our engine obviously goes, uh, oh, our wing is a bit issue. Bit of an issue right here. Uh, Okay, that's fine, because I think we can work this out. Okay, so if I do that, that's good. If I then add a loop, which is going to go here on this side, and then we add another loop, which is slightly in from that, to there, and we add another loop on this side of here, and we do this, what we can do is get rid of the middle. We can, we can get rid of the middle. Can we? Yeah, okay, nice. So this essentially goes all the way back to there, 
This one does the same thing, this one does the same thing, and that one does the same thing. There we go, and we're just gonna go ahead and do the same on the top. Hey! Who would have thunked it? Nice! If we then copy this, we go over to the other side and we paste it. Voila! We have our wing set up. Sort of correctly. Kind of. A little bit. I think that's fine, right? I mean, it doesn't look the best. But it doesn't look awful. I don't think, anyway. Okay, so that does mean our jet engine needs to go somewhere, but that's that's fine. We will ignore that for right now. Hemisphere, I kind of want to add one of those as like a bit of a nose cone, but we don't need to. Um, and then obviously we've got oh, we've got that going on underneath. So it does actually sort of need to fit in with the engine just a little bit, otherwise we'll have massive issues. So vertexes, let's go to this guy. And instead of doing what it does, let's just send it upwards. Send it into there. And that's sort of fine. We can then go to the other side. Grab this guy, send it upwards again. And then send it forwards into here. Same with this guy. And then same with this guy. But they need to be sent forwards too, otherwise it is just going to look weird. So let's do this. And this. And... Yeah. <laughs> that and that, and yeah. Okay, I think this can come down, actually. This can come down also. And that. Okay, so that's actually not looking terrible. We'll go ahead and copy it. And we'll paste it onto this side. Alright, that doesn't look... That doesn't look awful. We'll leave it as is for now, but that, yeah, it's not the best. Uh, but that's okay. Right, we've done it. We've got ourselves some sort of engines. What I'm going to do from here is actually extend these guys backwards just a little bit. So we're going to go down, or backwards, about 0.7. There we go, that seems pretty good. Going to do the same thing right here. And this guy. Actually, can go in, there we go. And we'll leave them a lot like that. Nice. Okay, right, so this is the bit that is uh, slightly challenging. So we need to go to this. We need to go to vertexes, and we need to go to number four. Uh, actually, we don't. We need to add more loops. So we're going to do this and essentially this. There we go. Uh, and what these guys are going to do is have this bit go down. We're going to have this bit go down. And we're going to have these bits go down as well, and hopefully we can come up with some uh, sort of nice, I think. Uh, maybe. So drop this, there we go. If we copy it, I guess, we take it to the other side, which is just here, and we paste it. I think we can get something nice out of that. Yeah. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, I also want to just like round it off as well, so it looks like it's actually uh, correct there. So we'll do that. We'll move this out. We'll move this out, and we'll move this out. Oh, slowly but surely, we'll get there. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, and that should be good too. Alright, so there we go. I've obviously added this, so our jet outlets actually are fine. Uh, what I'm going to do from there is I'm actually just going to go ahead and shove a turbine in here. Uh, and we're going to make it actually quite large. I'm not going to have an afterburner on it, because I don't feel like it should have one. Uh, but the engine itself is going to be like this. Honestly, that looks pretty cool to me. Uh, what we'll do from there is actually scoop this out. So we got to go to number five, I believe. Uh, we got to essentially lower this down to the bottom of the engine, otherwise we'll have issues. We then need to go to number six and again do the same thing, so lower this down. Um, actually quite far, there we go. Uh, go to five again, yes. Lower it down, we can actually pull it in a little bit, no we can't. Okay, so do this, uh, and then we're just going to have to add loops and loops and loops, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. So if we do this, we bring this to the center, and we actually lower that down. Same with this guy, and this guy even more. Oh my, engines are big. <laughs> These engines are big! Okay, right, cool. So we lower them down as much as possible to allow the jet engine to actually exist, and that'll be good. Okay, we then need to do the same thing back here as well, but that's... Ah, that. It's annoying. It's very annoying, because this is like a, a... I don't know, why is that bulged out so much? A little bit strange. Anyway, if we add a loop and we attach it into there, we can just lower this piece. And lower this piece. 
And there we go. Bit of a weird shaping right there, but that is that is fine. Okay, I'm actually gonna lower this guy. Uh, no, not that guy. Gonna lower this guy a bit more. And I'm actually going to push it over to this side, because that's sort of where it should be. And then we've got a bit of a pokey-outy bit there, but that's fine, because if we go to 5, we can move this guy across a little bit, and that will make it look better. Bam! And... Bam! Okay, yes. And then I need to select whatever this one is, which I believe is 8, and we're going to move this slightly further out, and... There we go. Alright, I'm actually going to move it backwards quite a bit too. There we go. I've got a lot going on on this little bit of the little bit of the plane. I'm going to send that bit backwards too and quit. There we go. So now we have a bit of an exhaust for the jet engine, uh, which is fine. Yes. Okay. Lovely. So the air comes in through there. It goes up over the wing, which you know is a bit in the way, but that's fine. Um, and then goes into the engine, fires out of here, and that's good. Okay, so what I want to do now is actually uh, fix the wing a little bit. So we're actually going to add another loop to this. It is going to go in there right here like this. And then essentially we're going to go to the back. We're going to grab each of these. If we can, we're going to move them forwards because the wing is sort of the wrong shape. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and build this in uh, like so. Bring that out to about there. That's fine, I think. Uh, I feel like it needs to just be longer, so there's a lot here that needs to move. So let's go ahead and move this this way by about one, I guess. This feels a little bit too big, but that's fine. So one, and then move it backwards, 0 0.37, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So one, and then 0 0.4. So let's do this, one, there we go, and then 0 0.4 backwards, just like so. Don't know how well this is going to work, but let's try it. Do this one as well. One. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, and then 0 0.4 backwards. Oh, that seems quite far. There we go. Good. I'm going to do this one. No, wait. Is this one already been done? I don't know. I think this one's our last one. So just send this out to the side. Oh, it's not quite. Uh, by one. There we go. And then move it backwards. 0 0.4. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. This guy. Bang. And then... Oh, I didn't quite put it in the right place, did I? I didn't put this one in the right place, but if we move it backwards by 0.4, we should be good. There we go. Okay, cool. That is pretty sick to me. It looks cool. It looks awesome. Now that we've done that extra wing shape, I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I do want to change it slightly, so I'm going to go to this guy. And I'm going to try and modify this so it looks right. So I think that's a little bit better. Might even move this one forwards a little bit. There, like that. Okay, makes our wing shape a little bit strange, but overall, I think we've done an okay job. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is actually go into the engine. What I'm going to do is send this further backwards. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and send it. Okay, a bit like that. We're then going to go ahead and extrude it. And we're going to bring it into 0 0.2. Yep, and 0 0.2. We're then going to extrude it again, and we're going to send that one forwards, and this is where our nose cone is going to come from. So, in fact, send it backwards a little bit, make it slightly smaller, so 0 0.175, okay? 0.175, there we go, extrude it again, bring it out a little bit, make it 0 0.15, there we go, do it again, 0.15. Extrude it again, and essentially I'm making this into a bit of a cone, so 1... Oh, 0 0.1, I should say. 0 0.1 right there. Yes, extrude it again. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. 0 0.5 on this one. Sorry, 0 0.05. I always do that, I'm not sure why. 0 0.05, good. Extrude it again. And essentially a tiny little tiny little nib right there. Zero, zero. There we go. Now we have a little cone thingamabobbies in the engine. Nice. Okay, so for the landing gear, we can't actually do it, like, realistically, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and shove a big old wheel on the front, uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, let's make sure we don't do this on both sides. I just want it on one side. We don't really have a centerpiece, which is annoying. Uh, but let's go ahead and put that right there. Select it. Yes, the wheel is going to be massive, and it's only going to be one. So wheel diameter is huge. Wheel setup is just going to be one. Oh, it needs to be in the center. Kind of like that, but not really. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Um, let's have travel all the way to zero. Wheel diameter is going to go up a little bit more. 
And we're actually just going to go and shove this up into there, just like that. Okay. It's weird, but it'll work. So, um, we're going to have it retract, angle, just go into the belly of the beast, just like so, and that'll be fine. From there, we need to do the two at the back. So, let's go ahead and grab these. Here we go, we'll do this on both sides. Yes. I'll have them slightly off to the edge, to the side, about there. Okay, these guys will be, again, one wheel, but off to the side like that. We can then make it bigger, because they're quite big. And that'll be fine. Okay, move this up into there. And I guess that's okay. In fact, let's do a little bit less. Travel, we're going to have a little bit, but not much. And then the retract is going to go into... I, oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, direction. 90 degrees sideways, I guess? Should we have them go sideways into there? I think maybe we should. So, angle. Oh, okay. 270. Da -da 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 -da. Almost, that's fine though. There we go. So this goes up and into there. All right, nice. Same thing's going to happen on this one. Bosch. Voila. Okay, lovely. So far, so good. Obviously, we don't have any control surfaces yet, so we need some of those. Um, we don't have any wings, and we also don't have any horizontal, no, vertical stabilizers. This plane doesn't really work on vertical stabilizers anyway. It works on a system of... Um, I guess like flaps, essentially, this flap will go up when we want to angle it this way, and this flap will go up when we want to angle it the other way. No, that way. So this flap goes up when we want to turn the nose that direction, this flap goes up when we want to turn the nose this direction. Because it's essentially just um, like the resistance of the air. So we can hopefully do something like that. I don't know whether that's true. I might do it with a control surface, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to add wings to this, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let's go ahead and save this as it currently stands, and let's see if we can actually take off. We don't have any yaw control, but that is okay. Uh, hopefully we won't flip over, which we might. We might flip over, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So this is us on the actual- Have I built the jet engines in backwards? Okay, well this clearly isn't what you want, so let's return to the hangar. And uh, turn those around, I guess? How have I done that? How have I managed to do that? Okay, right, so, if you don't put your jet engines in backwards... Um, yeah, okay, I, I thought they looked weird! They did! They totally looked weird. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this forwards just a little bit, and we'll try it again. So save this. This time our jet engines are actually facing forwards, which, you know, if you know planes, you kind of want them facing forwards, uh, if you want to go forwards. If you want to go backwards, do it, you know? Have them backwards. Uh, but this looks okay. I feel like the wing shape isn't quite correct. Um, but let's go ahead and see if it'll take off anyway. And uh, we'll go with that. Again, no yaw control, so that's a bit of an issue. But let's see what happens. Here we go. We have roll control, as you guys can see right there. Jeez. Okay, I can't quite pitch up. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the pitching up sort of issue. Here we go. Okay. I'm trying my best to pitch up. Here we go. It is tricky. Okay, well clearly this isn't actually getting off the ground, so we got an issue there. But, we are going quite fast, so that's cool. Alright, here we go. So, essentially what I've done is I've moved the rear landing gear a little bit forwards, uh, which should give us a little bit more of a pitch angle uh, in order to actually get into the sky. I keep trying to use yaw to actually turn us in the right direction. Unfortunately, I can't counter this turn right now unless I roll it, but I... Oh yeah, no, this isn't it. This is not it! Uh-oh! Oh! oh. Okay, we're in the hangar. <laughs> Alright, okay, we need to use that yaw. Uh, how do we go about doing it, though? So, I've never really messed with the joints in this game, but I think a control surface motor is what we want. Uh, and I'm actually going to put it halfway out of the wing, I, I guess, around here. Uh, and essentially what this is going to do is our yaw. Okay, but we're only going to have positive deflection because we don't want it to go down otherwise that is just another aileron okay and there's no point in that so we'll leave it as is uh like this okay with that being said we now need to actually attach a wing to that so let's do that real quick here we go there's a wing 
Um, hmm. Oh, what do we do with it, though? <laughs> what do we actually do with this wing? Uh, okay, I I'm just going to make it a lot smaller to begin with. That is that is the first thing I'm going to do. So we're going to do this. Like so. There we go. Bring it forwards. Bring these guys slightly backwards. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll add a leading edge and a trailing edge. Okay, fantastic. And then essentially we just have to lower it into this like so. All right, we're gonna, no, okay, right, hang on. We need to raise this up so it's blocking all of that. We're gonna bring it backwards. We're then gonna go ahead and push this guy forwards, push it down and in, essentially. Okay, so they're a little bit hidden. They are also a little bit on show, but that's fine. So the other thing that we need to do is actually make these very, very tiny. So we're gonna do this down to very much nothing. There we go, and then they'll flip up whenever we need them. Is that true? Is that actually true? I don't know. They're currently wrong. Oh, like, not wrong, but like inverted. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to there. We're gonna make this, this, there we go. And now it should be right. I don't know whether it's right in terms of, um, the right one that's going up, but now they will actually go upwards instead of downwards, because that's what was happening before. So we'll see. If I want to go right, we lift that one up. If I want to go left, we lift this one up. Okay, is that actually gonna work? So far, it is sort of doing something, which is nice. If I do the other side... Nah, okay, that's not doing anything at all. We might need a bit more of an angle on it, actually. Also, I'm just going to allow this to steer as well. So we'll give it a bit of steering. There we go. Um, and yeah, we'll actually give it a higher angle so that it actually works a little bit better. So uh, we'll go with, like, I don't know, even, even up to 35 degrees. No, 45 degrees. Oh, that's crazy. Let's go. All right, here we go. We are traveling down the runway. I'm trying to lift up into the air. Uh, it's struggling so far. We've used a lot of our runway already, but that's... Ah, we're turning too much. We're turning too much. I just dragged the wing across the floor. Oh, we are going so fast, but we are not able to get into the sky. No, okay, it can't do it. It cannot do it. We don't have enough lift. But I feel like we should. These are big wings. These are big old wings. Um, maybe it's because of the shape of our wing, to be fair. We've, we've done a... Um, uh, we, we've angled it on both sides when realistically we shouldn't have. Uh, yeah. But I don't want to go back through all of this and make it like flat on the bottom. Which is actually the top, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I could try. Let's go ahead and do this. So we actually flatten off the bottom of the wing uh, quite a bit so that the air moves. Oh, oh, hang on. So that the air moves correctly around it, uh, essentially. So we're going to do this flat ish, relatively flat. There we go. I just sneezed. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and copy this to this piece and we're going to paste it. Apply, there we go, and we're going to paste it on this piece as well. Apply. So at least this edge of the wing is is somewhat okay. I can't really do it on the rest of this because I've already moved it all. And if I move it anymore, we're going to have more issues. So I'm going to leave that as is. Look at how many pieces I've merged there, by the way. Uh, this has decided to come up for a viewing, weirdly. There we go. Okay, right, cool. Are we able to do it now, is the question. We're also just going to go ahead and increase the temperature of this. That's fine. Uh, the diameter is already fine anyway. Is there anything else we need? We could add an afterburner, but I don't want to. No afterburners, please. Here we go again. We actually weigh a hell of a lot less this time because I've removed some of the fuel. And, um, I've actually made the wings within the wings bigger. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually going to help us here or not. I feel like it might. Um, it has. There we go. We're actually flying now. Uh, and we are actually... We're actually flying. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, the, the yaw issue is a thing. But the yaw that we've made does actually work. It does work, and we are flying. Look at us! We're in the sky, and it totally works. We have no vertical stabilizers or anything like that, and it is actually flying about. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. We did it. We actually did it. So, from here, I think I'm going to go ahead and give it some paint. And, um, 
That'll probably be it. Yeah. Okay, not the best paint job, but it is a paint job nevertheless. So uh, we go with green and we go with brown and we go with like this white thing across the front end. Don't know whether that should actually continue across here. I kind of feel like it should now that I'm thinking of it. So let's go ahead and uh, do that a little bit too. And uh, there we go. Okay, nice. So let's go ahead and save this as it is. Uh, the underside does need painting blue, but for now this will do. Um, and I'm actually really happy with it. I think we've done a pretty good job. Okay, so I was actually going to end it there, but I decided to come back to this and make it a tiny bit of a nicer shape. Essentially, what I want to do is uh, poke this out a little bit more, but make this a little bit more rounded. Uh, and also try and do that with the wing as well. Now, unfortunately, uh, the wing is obviously poked out right here, and that doesn't look too good. But um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly try and make this look a little bit nicer, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so there we go. I've rounded it off a little bit more right here, which honestly I think looks better than it did. I also poked this bit out a little bit more as well, which again I think looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get this thing into the sky and see if it actually works still. Okay, we are trundling down the runway as you guys can see. Uh, we have our yaw that does actually work, which is nice. Uh, I can't remember how this took off because it was yesterday that I actually built this thing. But um, there we go, we are actually in the sky again. Uh, I do think the wing shape is a hell of a lot better this time, so that's good. Um, and it is actually full-on flying. Fantastic! We've done it, guys. We have actually done it. Now, turning in this thing is... Um, I don't know. It, it's it's difficult. Uh, you are likely to, like, stall it out. So you got to be very careful. But... You can do it. You can totally do it. Which is um, pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to actually get this thing to work, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I think we've done a pretty good job, and um, I'm really happy with it. Not gonna lie, we have totally run out of fuel, and we are, like, there's the runway right there. Okay, so uh, it, it burns fuel quite inefficiently, it turns out. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop our landing gear down and see if we can go in for a landing. Um, in, our, in our flying wing. Is this gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Who knows? I mean, I guess you've got plenty of lift for this, so that's pretty nice. Um... Here we go. It's just whether the control surfaces are going to work uh, nicely for us. Also, I really don't like the way this looks, but I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to keep it that way anyway. All right, here we go. Oh, we bounced off. All right, that wasn't a very good landing. Oh, I was holding control that time. So when you go in for a landing in this game and you hold control, uh, you actually lose all control of all of the surfaces, um, which is very weird. But yeah, there you go. Oh, that wasn't very good. Okay, well, anyway, turns out we're not very good at landing something at um, 200 miles an hour, which is okay. That's fine. Anyway, um, our main issue was we ran out of fuel, so let me go ahead and change that. Here we go again. This time we have a hell of a lot more fuel, which is, is nice, I suppose, to have. So let's go ahead and try and take off with this. Um, whether we will be able to or not, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and see. Oh, no, we're already in the sky. Oh, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. <laughs> okay, so it needs trimming out once you are in the sky, um, but that's okay. So, yeah, no, it does fly. It just needs trimming, otherwise you'll have some issues. All right, but that's fine. So we can trim the pitch to be slightly up. There we go, just like this, and we can fly it however we want. Excellent. There you go. Nice. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm just going to add this afterwards, just because I think it'd be kind of cool. So, um, right here is where the engine obviously comes out. We need burn marks, uh, just so that it looks like it is actually, like, coming out of here, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this up quite a bit, and we're going to go ahead and do... Oh, actually, we can't have it going up there. I don't want that. I do not want that. Okay, scale it down actually quite a bit here. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't go all the way up there, and... Scale it down a little bit here as well, just actually quite a bit. There we go. Let's do some of this. So, oh. Wait, that was so much bigger than what I was doing, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, and then do this bit and this bit. There we go. Okay, cool. So, that's like the exhaust going out the back and absolutely annihilating the top of the wing. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.